Hello and welcome. This is my February 2023 report on the electrical systems at our property in Huntingdonshire, England. This little diagram gives an outline view of the major components of the system and further details of these bits and pieces can be found in the description below the video. This first graph shows the daily electrical energy coming into the property from our two solar arrays and from the grid. These figures come from the daily readings of the electricity meter and of the two solar generation meters. The total solar production this month was 341 units, an average of 12.2 units per day in this shortest month of the year. The highest production was 22.9 units on the 20th and the lowest was 1.9 on the 12th. 871 grid units were imported in total with just five at normal rate and the rest at our economy 7 low rate. 61.5 units were exported to the grid according to the Tesla app that is 5.1% of the total electrical energy coming in and 18.1% of the solar energy produced. Regular viewers will know that that is a huge proportion of energy being given away and may have deduced that something was going on in the fortnight from the 13th to the 27th. The car wasn't able to grab that excess solar as it was parked at Birmingham Airport and my wife and I were absorbing a fair amount of solar ourselves in a much sunnier and warmer climate. The solar contribution to the month's electricity input was just a little over 28%. This second graph shows where the electrical energy consumed by the property and the car came from. The figures behind this graph are mostly supplied by the Tesla app and the car's home charging figures come from the My Energy app. 9.9% of the energy came directly from solar and a further 12.6% was solar coming to the property via the Powerwall giving a total solar contribution to the energy used of 22.4%. The Zappi charger put 22.2 solar units into the car and 48 low rate grid units. With the car being parked up for half a month, the 210 miles driven cost 2.23 pence per mile. This graph shows the energy going into and coming out of the Powerwall each day, as reported by the Tesla app, 88.8% of the energy which went into the battery came back out, ignoring the difference in start and ending states of charge. To show how that can change things in the short term, here is what was shown after the first two days of the month, with the battery returning a magnificent but rather meaningless 114%. This is the self-power graph, based on figures from the Tesla app, which reported that the proportion of self-power was 28.4%, a lower figure than January due to the unusual use of energy in our house while we were away. This graph shows the solar southwest production over the years since the installation. 157 units was the third best February over the 12 years, above the month's arithmetic mean of 146.2 and a median of 147. Here is the cumulative year to date graph for the southwest array with 2023 currently in third place, just one unit behind 2012, but trailing 2019 by 20 units. This graph shows the daily output of the two solar arrays for the past 365 days. The newer, smaller southeast array still beats the southwest array on sunny days, but the larger array wins on duller days. Here is the distribution of the energy input and export for the past 365 days. And this graph shows the daily solar production for that period. This final graph shows a summary of our grid electricity usage over the years since our move here in the summer of 2011. The grey line shows the number of low rate and the red line the number of normal rate grid units used each month as measured on the left hand scale. The monthly electricity bill is shown by the yellow line and the right hand scale and the green line shows the monthly contribution to the feed-in tariff payments for the old Southwest Arrays production. That's all for this month. I'll leave you with the Tesla app graphs for each day of February, and you'll be welcome to return in a month's time when I'll be reporting on our first month for many years on a standard variable tariff.